Hey guys and welcome back to another Football in Python video. In this video we'll be going through the usage of the StatsBomb API and how we can use it to get free football data. Now StatsBomb is a subscription based API but there's also open data which we can use. So if you don't have it already you can install it by running pip install StatsBomb pi. Once you have it installed we can import it into our project using from stats bomb pi import sb. Let's run it to make sure that it imports properly. Okay, nice. Now, the first thing we're going to do is take a look at all the competitions. So, to do that is very simple it's just sb.competitions. So here we go. You can see the competition IDs, season IDs, the countries where these are being played, competition names, gender, youth, international, and the seasons, and also some other things as well. So if we wanted to view the matches for a competition, we would take the competition ID and the season ID. So let's do it for this Champions League uh, competition that was played in the 2018 to 2019 season. So all we'd have to do is type sb.matches and then put in the competition ID. So in this case, it'd be 16. And put in the season ID, which would be 4. And here we go. Now, unfortunately, for this competition, we only get the final. We only get the the final game. Um, but we can look at another competition, for example, Afcon, which I know shows some more. So we'll type in, we'll type in the competition ID and the season ID. And yeah, there we go. You can see all these different matches that were played in AFCON. I'm gonna go back to that Champions League final. And now I'm gonna show you how to get the data for a specific match. So to do that, we'd use the events function. So let's create a variable events and set it to sb.events and that will take a match ID. So we can see here that the match ID is 22912. Let's type that in, 22912. And then let's output it. And yeah, here we go. We get all the data for that game. Now, because this is the open data, there's a lot that we don't get. As you can see, like 50-50 ball receipt outcome. Um, but there are some that we do get, as you can see at the end. And also, um, this dot, dot, dot shows that it's like a summary of the data and it's not got all of them shown right here. So there are some more that I know that we do have. So if we wanted to view all the columns, we could run events.columns. And yeah, you can see all the different types of data that we can extract. So now, for example, one of the ones that I know we can see is tactics, as you can see right here. So let's try that. So you can either access it like this, or you can access it like this. But I'm going to stick with the first method. And yeah, this isn't very useful like this. So let's dive a little deeper. If we put in the index zero, you can see we get the Spurs lineup for that game. And yeah, it shows the formation, all of the players and their positions, and even like IDs for each player as well. And if we were to do it for Liverpool, we would just type in one. And yeah, there we go. Now let's extract some more data. Let's say we wanted to find out 
all the passes in the game. So I'm going to create a new variable called pass event, and that's going to be equal to events, but we're going to extract some certain things. So we want to extract the team type. So that's the type of play. Minute. Uh, we want the pass end location and the player that was involved. And then let's say we want to get the first 30 of these events, then we just do pass events dot head 30. And yeah, here we can see all these different passes. Um, yeah, we can also see these things up here. And if we wanted to filter that out and just have just the passes, then we could do pass, wait, let me move up, pass events equals pass events. And then inside that pass events again, and we want to get the player And use this method, not NA. And then, yeah, that clears up all the not a number of values. So I hope that this was useful. The best way to learn how to use this API is just to use it yourself and try out different things. But if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. And leave a like on the video if you liked it. Thank you.